Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to create an Apple-style liquid glass animation in After Effects. First, create a shape layer and add a rectangle and a fill to it. Then, open the shape properties and adjust the size and roundness. Let's name the main shape box. Add two sliders to the shape and name them X and Y. Duplicate the existing values for both X and Y. Now hold down Alt and click the stopwatch next to the size property. Link it to the X slider. Next in the expression, select the second temp and link it to the Y slider. Now we can create more dynamic animations for the shape using these two controllers. Set the first keyframe for the Y slider at frame 0. Move three frames forward and add another keyframe. Go back to frame 0 and set the value to 0. Now at frame 2, set a keyframe for the X slider. Move four frames forward and add another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and set the value to around 370 to make the shape circular. Great. Now copy the bounce expression from the video description. Then, while holding Alt, click the stopwatch for both the X and Y sliders and paste the expression there. Looks great, we've got a nice dynamic bounce animation, but let's add some movement to the position as well. Open the position property and set a keyframe at frame 1, then another one at frame 3. Go back to the first keyframe and move the shape slightly down, as shown in the video. And don't forget to apply the bounce expression to the position property as well. By the way, We've put together a free mini pack with 12 liquid glass animations you can use in your own work. It works with the easy to use Motion Bro extension, which automatically adjusts the animations to your comp size. Plus, you can customize everything directly from the handy control panel. Feel free to grab it. The link's down in the description. Great, let's create the glass effect. To do this, turn the shape into an adjustment layer by clicking the icon shown in the video. Now, apply the Fast Blur effect and set the value to around 17. Next, apply the Transform effect and set the Scale value to around 108. Also, add the Tint effect, set the color to white, and adjust the amount to around 12%. Great! Now, let's create the Glass Distortion effect. To do this, duplicate our box layer and rename it to Map. Turn off the Adjustment Layer option for the Map Layer. Reveal the properties of both the Box and Map Layers by pressing the U key twice. Link the Size property of the Map Layer to the Size property of the Box Layer. Then do the same for the Position property. This helps reduce the number of keyframes later and makes editing the animation much easier. Now, go to the map layer and delete all effects and sliders except for the fast blur effect. Add a white stroke and turn off the fill. Now set the stroke width to 60 and the blur value to 20. Turn off the visibility of the map layer and apply the displacement map effect to the box layer. In the displacement map layer setting, Choose our map layer, then set luminance for both the horizontal and vertical displacement. Now you can control the edge distortion. Set the horizontal displacement to 350 and the vertical displacement to 220. Looks great. Now to add some depth, duplicate the map layer, place it above the box layer, and name this layer Light A. Turn the layer visibility on, then set the blur to 4 and the stroke to 19. Add the set matte effect and choose the box layer as the matte source. 
Set the blending mode to add and adjust the opacity to 20%. Much better already. Now duplicate this layer and name it Light B. Set the stroke for this layer to 60, the blur to 40, and the opacity to 40%. Then turn off the Add Blending Mode. Duplicate the layer again, Enable the fill and turn off the stroke. Then remove all effects, set the opacity to 100%, and name the layer Light C. Now apply the CC Light Sweep effect and set the same parameters as shown in the video. With the direction control, you can adjust the direction of the highlight and animate it if you'd like. Duplicate this layer and name it Light D. Then add a highlight on the opposite side by adjusting the direction control. Awesome! Let's add some text and adjust its settings. Parent the text layer to the box layer. Now apply the set matte effect to the text and choose the box layer as the matte source. Now add the fast blur effect and make sure to place it above the set matte effect in the effects stack. Then set a keyframe at around frame 10. After that go back to the first frame and add another keyframe. Increase the blur value at the first keyframe. Select both keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor and adjust the curve from 0 to 100, as shown in the video. For easier control of position and scale, you can create a null object and parent all unlinked layers to it. Looks good. Now let's create a second version for a light background. To create a shadow, duplicate the map layer and turn its visibility on. Add the fill effect and set it to a dark blue color. Avoid using pure black, as it can look muddy and unappealing. Always go for either a dark blue or dark red, depending on your background. Now, set the stroke to 160 and the blur to 130. Now, slightly scale down the layer using the scale property, move it downward by adjusting the anchor point, and set the opacity to around 40%. To make the shadow appear smoothly, animate its opacity fade in. And don't forget to select the keyframes and press F9 for smoother animation. Final touches. Turn off the Add Blending mode for the Light A layer. Then, set the stroke to 7.5 and the blur to 5. Add the fill effect and choose a deep, dark blue color. Set the opacity to 80% and remove any extra highlights by turning off the visibility of the light B layer. Everything's ready! If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps me create even more awesome tutorials. And don't forget, there's a free mini pack with 12 ready-made UI animations in the liquid glass style waiting for you in the description. Feel free to download and use them in your projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.